Israel Shalom, Yashua Allah, peace is all first and foremost. As always, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kakadash. Double honor to our elders, apostles of Great Nelson, JMS, so well, and a peace and blessings to the hopefully like I can out, out there laboring in this ministry, pushing this gospel all across the globe in righteousness, in saving and truth, and also Shalom to that Kiam Wakwa. Peace and blessings to the brethren and sisters that will be tuning in and listen, studying under the vibration of Yahweh Bash no Shai. Yahweh, that's the Hebrew name of whom the royal ignorant God, God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh means he is, he to be, he exists, the being that existed before time, also known as the of days. And Yahweh Shachamash, that's the Hebrew name of his beloved son, whom the royal ignorant called Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai means he who saved. He who deliver the savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Baha Sham, Baha, which means in the Sham name, will call Spirit Kadash Holy in the name of the Holy Spirit, which pretty much allow us to be able to understand this wonderful gospel. This is in the Paleo Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, the language of our of our of our of our forefather, the, the language of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, ultimately the language of the children of Israel. I'm the I'm the I'm Ben War. I'm the brother Karab. You know, with two brethren here from uh, the German Boston Cape, you know, linking up to the spirit of Yahweh you know, to do a short lesson. You know, Lord willing, certifying because our uh, elder Apostle Tahawk coined his share to be hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh you know, because uh, that's exactly what we desire. We desire to see our big brother, our savior, Yahweh Shai, to crack open the skies and save us from uh, from uh, the destruction because uh, we know ultimately before Yahweh Shai make his big entrance. Our hell is going to be close, man. So we're going to need salvation. We're going to need deliverance. And that's exactly what it is, man. We, we're tired of this uh, current rulership, this uh, demonic, satanic kingdom, which has been, gov which has been governed by Esau Edom. You know, so we're hastening onto the day of Yahweh Hashem and Shaman because that's that's where we're going to be at rest. The scripture says in Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye in the port for this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with destruction. And that's exactly what it is, man. Korab has a... a or video that is going to play pretty much Esau knows that Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. And these devils, that's one of the reasons why the scripture says uh he's gonna come down having great wrath because he knows that he had a short time. So these devils, man, they have all kind of microscope looking into the heavens and they are able to see the chariots, you know. So they know Yahweh Shai is coming, they know that uh, uh the Lord has uh the chariots in the in the heavens, right? Well, Rob, got it. That's right. I got a quick precept. Before we get into it, this is Luke 21 and 36, and it reads, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Yeah, ultimately, that's exactly what we asking for mercy. We're asking Yahweh Hashem Mishai to preserve our lives from when I help with Christmas so that we can see the salvation of Yahweh Shai. You know? Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. All right, so I'm going to the, the, the video. This, this video is from um, Dabu77, and the title is uh, Harvard Professor Say Interstellar Object is from Ancient Civilization and More Are Coming. All right. So I'm going to play at least two minutes of the video, and then, um, you know, I'm going to add the, the link in the description box. So if you, you know, brothers want to check it out, but we're just going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, just do two minutes of it. All right. This is Dabu7. I want to share with you guys here some very interesting updates and announcements that have been made here coming from a Harvard professor of all people. Now, this is all pertaining to this Amuamua. This is this big object that came through our system in 2017, through our solar system. It was the first interstellar object to ever do so that we knew of. That's incredible in itself. When it went by, they said that it was metallic in nature and that it picked up speed after it went by the sun and it had all these characteristics of being a part of an alien civilization. They were using these words, light cells, alien technology, alien civilization. Over and over again, they were dropping breadcrumbs. Now, if you went and you looked into the name, of what they gave this thing. They called it a muamua. It means scout. When it went past the sun, 
some very strange things happened that are just now being brought to light. And this isn't just my opinion. This is being said from a Harvard professor, their top tier college of Harvard. This man speaking on this knows a lot. This is Avi Loeb. He is the chair of Harvard's Department of, of Astronomy. He's the top dog. He believes that he has found something connected to extraterrestrials. But what he does is he presents this in a way that he says he believes that it's space junk from an ancient civilization. This is what he is saying boldly right now. I believe it's not junk, and he knows it, because he even explains it in detail. And as we're going to go over here, the object in question had traveled toward our solar system from the direction of Vega. That's a nearby star that's about 25 light years away. And then it intercepted our solar system that took place on September 6th of 2017. On September 9th, its trajectory brought it closest to the sun. And at the end of September, it blasted at about 58,900 miles per hour past Venus. And then out on October 7th, it shot past Earth. And then it moved swiftly toward the constellation of Pegasus, where it disappeared into the blackness. Now, it was first spotted by a telescope in Hawaii, the Pan Stars system. This is the highest definition telescope on Earth. And they still are trying to tell us that if we can get a clear picture of this thing, they could just kind of detect that it was there. So I still want to see whatever they got, but they give you the all right. And um that was three minutes of it. You know, um what do you think I should play a little bit more? No, I, I mean like let's, let's let's go to the scriptures, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So because like yeah, like we said before, man, these devils, man, they they know, man, they they be, they've been pushing agenda, pretty much uh, deceiving the people, deceiving mm -hmm. the masses, right? Telling them that oh, some um, green man, uh, alien invasion. Ultimately, that's Yahweh Shai coming to invade the earth, man. You know, the, the child of Yahweh Hashem Shai is what's gonna use as a vehicle to save your life, right? You know, and that's, that's the right. time with him, man. Go ahead, bro. We got it. Come, because uh, even going back to the name, uh, Amua Amua, right? Uh, I think it's Hawaiian. You know, it means scout. And, you know, according to what the scriptures say, right? We're going to get yeah, it real come. quick. Yeah. This is uh, Amos uh, 9 and 8. And it reads, it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off of the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. Yeah, right. this, yeah, come, go, we got it, bro. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Now, I was about to say, right? Now, in a lifetime, the sinful kingdom is 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 is, is what? It's America, man. America. The, the angels, as of the Lord, are the angels, man. The angels are pretty much uh, 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 going back and forth, man, uh, collecting, uh, taking no taking data, you know what I'm saying, of what, of what wickedness. And uh, these devils has, has, have been pushing in the earth, man, and they were putting it back to the Heavenly Father. And the purpose of Yahweh Shemesha is pretty much destroy this wicked demonic kingdom, man. Because ultimately, these devils, they were giving temporary evolution on earth, man, you know. And the Lord set a, set a bound that they cannot pass, man, no matter how, no matter what law or legislation they're trying to come up with. Guess what? When it's your time to go, it's your time to go, you know. That's right. Come on, come on. Hey, once again, like the brother said, that the eyes are, are, are these um these angels, man, because they take it. That's why the scripture talks about um going to be held accountable for everything that you do, because there's somebody recording your actions, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and ultimately they, they take it back to the heavenly father. All right. So once again, that scout is going into what what these angels are doing. They're the messengers. All yes, right. Yes. And, and, and this is why this is why Babylon is going to get destroyed, because the scripture also says, I think it's in. um. I think it's Zechariah the fifth chapter. Yeah, I can get it for you if you want to. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on, come on. Uh, Zechariah chapter five, verse one. Zechariah five, verse one. And I turn and lift up my eyes and look, behold, a flying wall. And mm -hmm. he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying wall. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, 
this is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth for everyone that stealeth shall be cut off mm -hmm. as on this side according to it and everyone that swear shall be cut off as on that side according to it you hey know? so that flying roll that he seen was what what people would consider the ufo but they're identified through the scriptures. They're the chariots of the Most High. He's seen the chariot of, of Yahweh Shemel Shah. And that's what it says is the curse that covered the whole earth, man. Because the wickedness has exceedingly pulled the whole earth. And the Lord is, is, is against that. And ultimately, what once again, it's in that they, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom that, that is taking records. And, and ultimately, this is how America is going to get uh, destroyed. Because guess what? Yahweh Shah is coming back. Man. Yahweh Shah and the holy angels is coming back. And that's why they say, in, um, when you go back to it, well, so like I already uh, exited out, but it says, um, uh, you know, interstellar, uh, um, ancient from ancient civilization, right? Knowing that these chariots been here, right? These chariots always was on the scene, right? And even even what when you go into Acts the first chapter, all right? Is it one in eight? Come on, come on. Let me see. Uh, one in one in ten. One in ten. One in ten. Come on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start at verse nine. It says. And when he had spoke these uh, acts one and nine, and when he had spoke spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards the heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. And who are those? All right, that two men that stood by uh, stood by them was what the angels. All right, in white apparel. And it says, he also said, "Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing into heaven? The same Yahweh Shah, which is taken up from you." Into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen as ye have seen him go into heaven. All right. So sure today, the same way our Lord went up into a chariot, he's coming back in a chariot. And not just only he's not coming back by himself, he's coming back with the, the heavenly host, man. All right. To the render what to deliver his elect and to render judgment upon on upon the wicked, man. The wicked of Esau, the wicked which is Esau Edom, and the wicked of our people, the sinners of our people. All right, because they denied Yahweh Shemel Shah. They didn't want to turn and seek Yahweh Shemel Shah. And also Esau Edom because of, uh, of just, just who he is, man. He's a diabolical uh, devil, man. All right. Um, if I may, I will quick, right? He says mm -hmm. it's, it's a curse. It's a curse for these other nations, but it's a blessing for us on the on the right-hand side. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what it is. Matter of fact, go back that's to right. Right? Zachariah chapter 5, verse uh, verse 4. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, uh, and I'll bring... And I will break it forth, said the Lord of hosts, and he shall enter into the house of, a, of the thief, right? In, into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. He shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it from the timber thereof and the stone thereof. You know what I'm saying? So ultimately, man, mm -hmm. the chariots, they're going to come here. The, 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 uh, the seat of, uh, uh, of wickedness, which is here, America, man. This is uh, mm -hmm. John 10 and 10. The, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. And how did Esau? Uh, obtain America, I mean, to to uh, lying, to deception, to uh, uh, stealing. He stole the land from the native, mm -hmm. you know, the natives, the, the tribe of God, tribe of uh, Reuben, tribe of uh, 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 You know what I'm saying? So that's exactly what it is. The Lord's gonna bring forth the chariots to destroy this place and also to save the elect out of it. You know? That's right. That's right. Going into um, so lucky. Bear with me, real quick. This, this is good. um, I got another one. I got another one, real quick. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6 through 8. And it says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense, recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And right. to you who are at, who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and flaming fire, and flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not the most high. And had not and that obeyed not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right, going back to what you had stated, because the thief came and destroyed the the northern kingdom, such as the Gadites and the Reubenites. All right, came down to uh, you know uh, South Central and South America, destroyed the the the, the Issacharites, the, the Zebulonites, all the northern tribes. All right, and then he still came. He still went as far as the transatlantic slave trade, which is the what to to bring the the southern kingdom over into this side. All right, which showing you that there was a uh, someone troubling us, man. All right, there was there was an enemy that 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 that, that raised his hand and, and, and like the scriptures say, he furthered the affliction. So now look, the way that we rest in the Lord is by turning back to the truth. All right, because ultimately this is how you receive mercy that you may be part of the election. 
all right, to be delivered out, but, uh, delivered out of this trouble to come, but also uh, be be uh, be seen uh, in good graces of Yahweh Shah when he returns with his uh, with his angels, all right, because they're coming to render vengeance upon the earth, man, all right, they're coming to take Esau Edom out of power. That's why they said the missile is going to get shot over here, all right. But guess what? The them the, the, the chariots is going to be spewing a, a black and fire out of it as well, adding more to the to, to the destruction of America, all right. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's exactly mm -hmm. what it is. That's exactly how Lord Yahweh is going to come back, man, in a huge fellowship. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Revelation 1 mm -hmm. verse 7, you know. That's right. Uh, uh, Revelation chapter 1 uh, verse 7. Revelation 1 verse 7. And he reads, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also mm -hmm. shall pierce him, and all kindred of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, I'm on, you know. Hey, showing you that even at the sight of Yahweh Shah's return, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, all right, man, it's gonna be crazy, all right, because it said it, people are gonna wail, all right, because what this is something that people are not uh, paying attention to. Hey, that's why when he, uh, when when um, you watch the video, he said the guy they got this uh, uh high technology telescope that can see everything, but he's trying to say it's uh it's uh, um ancient civilization space junk. All right, because you had mentioned it before we started the show. You said that you know, in order for uh, uh, for Esau to put out the truth, man, that means he got covered. That all them lies is going to be exposed, man. All right, and then they're going to talk about the aliens, the little green men, and all these different things. But ultimately, he's 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 just uh, falling on his own sword because once again, you have the prophets on the highways and the byways, and, and what we're doing is we're linking these current events, these things that are taking place in the world. With scriptures, all right, to, to prove that, hey, man, the Lord Yahweh Shah is coming back for one, and he is coming back on a chariot, which the world theme is UFO, all right, and to deliver his elect and to render judgment upon the wicked. Man. That's right, that's exactly right. right, because ultimately, mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah is gonna make gonna declare what gonna make war against the Edomites, you know what I'm saying? So, the, the first time he came down, you know, he came down as a lame, laying down his life for the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. and the second time, he's gonna come back as a, as a lion, taking down his, uh, his enemies, man. That's you know, right. That's exactly what it is, and that's exactly why he's gonna break forth all the heavenly hosts with him. You know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? To, right. to take vengeance on these devils, man. You know. This is Matthew 25 and 31 through 32. It says, "When the Son of Man shall come in His glory, and all the holy angels with Him, then shall He sit upon the throne of His glory, and before Him shall shall be gathered all nations, and He shall separate them one from another, as the shepherd divided his sheep from the goats." Come So we all know how your house are gonna come in. In a huge fellowship, you know what I'm saying, with all his uh archangels, man, to uh where it says uh when the son of man shall come in his glory, right? Mm -hmm. And all the holy angels with him. So ultimately it's gonna come down. Uh uh, yo, we are uh, man, that's exactly why people are gonna be bugged out, right? Mm -hmm. It's a power that they have never seen before. Yeah, how is she gonna come back with pure angelic power or power right. uh from above, man? You know, is people gonna uh this is a man's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things, you know what I'm saying? So when, when they see a, a so-called black man, because the whole world has been deceived by these devils that uh, the Messiah is a, is a so-called uh, uh, white person, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when the Bible clearly describes uh, how the Savior looks like, you know what I'm saying? So people are mm -hmm. going to give up the ghost on the spot, man. You no, know, for uh, fear, man. Mm -hmm. The scripture you know? says, well, uh, when he returned, he's not going to meet thee as a man. That's right. right. He, like Go you on. said, he, he came in, uh, in, a, in, a, in a, his, low, his low state, uh, his uh, humble state, all right, so when he returns, he's gonna come with, with, with pure glory and power, man. All right, come on. yeah, it says, uh, and before him shall be gathered all nations. So, ultimately, all this nation, yeah, how shall I mean, yeah, how shall I is not about uh, integration, yeah, how shall I is against integration, how shall I is a separatist, he's only on um, care and dealing with his people uh, about his people, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't give a damn about your nation, other nation gonna be slave to the Israelites, you know what I'm saying? It says, uh and he said, uh, and before him shall be gathered all nation, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided the sheep from his goat. So Yahweh is the chief shepherd. You know what I'm saying? So a shepherd, what what, what does what does a shepherd do? A shepherd pretty much look out for the sheep, man. So mm -hmm. Yahweh is our savior. He's the one that's gonna uh, 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 put us on top, right? You know, he's a, he's a, he's a, that's that's his name. You know, Yahweh Yahusha, who who he saved. He will say he will deliver, you know. That's exactly what it is. And he says, uh, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand 
in the but the goat on the left. So the 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 sheep are who the lost sheep of the house of Israel. In the goats mm -hmm. are, are mainly Esau in the other nations, man. Right. That's that's a that's the vision. You know that's separation. You know that's it's exactly. Right. We got go. It says what he he come not to bring peace, but a uh, but division. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, uh -huh. and that's exactly why these devils, man, they they in, they in great fear, man. They like we said before, man. They have all kind of microscope to look into the heavens, so they 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 see things, but they're not gonna come out publicly to tell the people because they don't they don't wanna cause a a a, a mass uh, hysteria or panic. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Con, I got another precept. This is uh Jude one and fourteen through fifteen, and Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied these. These sayings, behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which have un which have which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches with ungodly sinners have spoken against them. Yeah. All right. You got it, bro. You got it. You got it. No, 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 my life has a dark, right? So right now, the whole earth lying wickedness. So your house has come to purge wickedness from the earth, man, and establish righteousness forever. So that's exactly what, why he needs to come. Because this we said, um, if he doesn't come, you know, if he does shun the days, right, there shall no flesh be saved. So your house shouldn't have to come to pretty much uh, 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 deliver us, you know, save us, man. You know, that's exactly what it is, man. And and again, man, these devils, man, hey, they 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 know what's going on they know they are they have the technology to look into the heavens to see what's happening but they will never acknowledge the power of yahweh shin shai man he so has a a god complexion you know he takes he takes his the most high you know that's right come on, come on. i got another precept um uh, revelation 6 we start at um verse 12 it says, and I behold, uh, and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth, casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind, and the heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and islands were moved out of their places. Yeah, that's a and, hey, that's talking about the good destruction when the mm -hmm. when there's a uh, missile is pretty much uh, uh, uh raining down on the soil of America, man. And you're gonna have all kind of earthquake, tsunami, you know, or, or everything, man. The island's gonna move mm -hmm. out of the places, man. That's what's like coming. The that's a great deal. Like you have about Shai, you got it, bro. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, the scripture states that what the earth shall rock to and fro like a drunkard. That's right. Yeah. Hey, man, talking about the, the missiles, man. You know, mm -hmm. that they said the destruction, but hey, the Lord is gonna be there in, during the presence <laughs> of the destruction happening, right? Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, he's gonna add to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's gonna uh -huh. add to the destruction with the with the chariot, with the chariots and the laser beam. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna add to the destruction. He's gonna That's he's gonna right. add more fuel to the fire. You know. <laughs> Verse 15 it says, and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and set yeah. into the rock. Okay. Yeah. No, I was about to say, like these elite men, they have a what do you call a underground underground workers, right? Yep. You know, deep um, military bases on the ground, pretty much to to hide. They, because they know Yahweh is coming, they want to escape the wrath of Yahweh Shimashai. But ultimately, that's exactly when uh, on Jeremiah 16 verse 16 number be fulfilled. Those men that right. you see out there now they're they fishing, right? But they're gonna ultimately they're gonna become hunters, they're gonna hunt your devils uh, under, 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 the, under, the, under the earth, man. You know, even that's why that, you, God, that my professor from Harvard, and if you notice that, you know, uh. That's what a lot of those secret societies are based at, those prestige mm. colleges. Prestige, yeah. uh, and Hollywood this is how style. they get the information. Mm -hmm. This is how they get their information. They got these professors that are, you know, Freemasons that are that part of these secret societies that are, that are uh, looking into these things, man. They got these, uh, that's the intel, man. They looking mm -hmm. in uh, the records because ultimately what? They have to keep an eye out on, on what's going on in heaven because these devils are scared, man. Revelation 12 and 12 said what? He's coming now with great wrath because he know he has a short time. That's all right. right. Mm -hmm. A more and more they said that a more and more, which is that um that uh that 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 inter uh interstellar 
uh, well, they say they would say it's a um, a comet, but it's a UFO, man. It's a chariot. That chariot, mm. you know, was seen in 2017. All right, so they keeping they keeping an eye on that, man. They keeping an eye on these things, man, to show you that, hey, man, these these devils know that that the time is coming up, man. The time of them going into captivity is coming. All right, I'm gonna read it again, verse 15. Mm -hmm. And the kings of the earth, the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid him hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountain, and said to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the land. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Yeah, All that's right? what's the mind from the devils, man. They want to escape the 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 wrath of Yahweh Shemeshai because ultimately they know the prophecies, man. They they know the prophecies. They know they, they try to escape from going to slavery. You know what I'm saying? So hey, mm -hmm. that's that's the that's what they are planning. But we know ultimately the prophecy gonna be fulfilled, right? These devils, these devils that that are uh, that's are uh, gonna be hiding, right? The Lord gonna allow them to escape so that they can be the first uh, fruit of slavery. You know. That's right. Come, on, come. On. Hey, man. It that's just that's just the the way that the cookie crumbled. That's how the Lord has it set up because these Edomites been ruling for too long and they've been doing nothing but wickedness all through the earth, man. And so, Yahweh, Shai, uh, Yahweh Shai is the great judge, man. All right, he's the great judge, and he's gonna come back and he's gonna judge uh, 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 the wicked. And once again, he's gonna judge the sin of his people because you know, once again, uh, Esau is about to come out with that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. And 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 guess what, man? When you read um going into to to, to Revelations. The 14th chapter, all right, because we had spoke on it, but the Lord is going to be there, you know, because he's going to add to that fire, that destruction, all right? Revelations 14 and 9, just to bring it out real quick, and it says, um, and the third angel followed him, saying with a loud, vo loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his in his hand, the same shall drink up the wine of the wrath of the Most High, how about Shemar Shah, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, which is what righteous anger. That's right. right? Then he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So that shows you that the Lord's going to be there, and He's mm -hmm. going to He's going to be there, and, and the angels going to be there, all right? And right. He's going to win the judgment, man. All right. And Esau eat him once again. He is the 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 how can I say it? he is the, the 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 root of the problem, man. He's the one that's gonna establish his new world order. But guess what? The most high is gonna slap that spoon out his hand when that time comes. He's coming. Yahweh Shah is coming. That's right. It's only a matter of time, you know. Hey, the apostle heart, hey, you know, once again, you know, coin to share to be his thing under the coming of Yahweh Shah man. Hey, so man, hey, Yahweh Shah is almost here, man. So that's what we have mm -hmm. to. Keep on keep enduring, you know what I'm saying? Keep on doing the work, you know, Lord willing, with one mercy, you know, uh, and, and the side of Yahweh Hashem Mashiach, you know? That's right. Come on, You got anything else? No, I'm good, bro. Come on, So, you know, with that, you know, we want to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukhakadash. Double on to uh, apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, who has taught us this truth, and also peace and citation to the hopeful elect once again. And once again, Lord's will that this lesson was edifying. We're going to give uh, uh, say Shalom. 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 Shalom.